Hi you guys, Wanda here. Surprise! <laughs> it is Saturday, October 9th, 4.30 p.m. Central. And I'm here to finish the sugar skull from last night. It's just going to be me tonight. And um, happy Saturday. And I'm glad you guys are all here with me. And uh, we're going to have some fun. And we'll get to finishing this uh, awesome sauce. Skull. And I did it again. There they are. Off. Okay. Hi, Amber and Sharon. Hello. Who else we got? Hi, Misty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started while you guys are all coming on. I think from here, I'm going to go ahead and start foiling. So what I did, just so you guys know, I did touch up um, the gold last night. I re-lined that so that the purple wasn't so overpowering. So hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. And Kathleen, hello. I'm a little bit early, so I'm going to hang just for a minute until we populate some more. Hi, Christy. So, let's talk about the foils I'm going to use here. I'm going, I think I showed these last night. I'm going to be using these beauties. And this is going to kind of go all over the black area. And in the flowers, we're going to use some metallic. And I think I like, let's see, these. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Emmy and Kathy. I think I like this, um, like, royal blue. Let me find a red. Of course, we have to have red, right? Definitely red. And then last night, I believe Allison had recommended a stone in the tooth, which I thought was genius. My gosh, a red one at that. Pokes. Wait, who's poking who? Hi, Phyllis and Susan. Hi, Lori. Hi, Kathleen. Nice to see y'all here on a Saturday. Would you guys believe it? I don't think I have a big red stone. <laughs> I know, right? That's crazy. Check this one. Oh, I could do a square one. That would be weird, but... <laughs> Let me grab this here. It's kind of a cool looking... I think it's too big, though. Kind of weird looking. <laughs> yeah, too much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, too big. But let's see what else is in here. I have an orangey kind of one, which is, that might work. There's one. So we'll add that. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Allison, thank you. That's a perfect suggestion. I have rhinestones going everywhere. Look, it's cool. I like the red one. Pretty. All right, I need to find some green foil. I have a lighter green. Okay. 
Okay. I had this idea. I know we're probably going to go with the cat side because you guys, that is really exciting, right? This stuff from yesterday. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. But I had this idea. These Dollar Tree stickers, you know, they get me. These are actually wooden cutouts that have a pad sticker on the back. I removed it. You know, it has the tab. But look at that. I could just get rid of the eye sockets. <laughs> and then we can uh, bling this up. You know, do the eyes and the nose and the mouth. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? I love that idea. But only if you view. All right, so gloves on. We got a lot of foiling to do here. And I'm going to start with the big stuff. So it's going to be kind of boring for a bit. I'm going to do the, all of the black area. Hey, Lori, I do too. I love the sugar skulls. You know what? I think I'm going to dig out a section in there in the tooth so that stone will sit down in it. Sit down in there. I gotta find a pokey tool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I have five of them. Okay. So I'm just gonna use my resin poker. Yesterday, I used um, liquid pearls here, and they it turned out gorgeous on the teeth. So I think that might sit down in there. Okay. Drill it out. <laughs> okay, so that's good when we are ready to do our stone. That's ready. I'm just going to move these over here. They fell out of my container. <laughs> Okay, so let's use Barano Nail Art Foil Glue. I'm going to be using quite a bit of this, so I'm going to use it from the well. And I'm going to apply some in the big areas with the this bigger brush and then I'll go in and detail with the smaller brush <laughs> oh, dentist. Yes, I'm going to do that, Erin. I'm going to add dentist to my resume. I love it. <laughs> I, a specialty one, right? Where I can add rhinestones to your teeth. <laughs> or add crystals or diamonds. <laughs> I know this looks crazy right now, but it won't. I promise it'll be cool. Alright, I gotta go get the little brushes. I don't like this. So 
So I'm going to try to stay off of the lines so that we can keep that definition. It may or may not work. I don't know. I might have to just go over them. And I'm going to be doing some big sections at once with the foil kind of um, lined up. So I'm going to be lining up the pattern as best I can. I forgot to touch up that side. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. It's not that bad. The rhinestones might cover it up anyway, so it'll just be a happy accident. And we can go right over these because they're going to be covered anyway. Hey, Lori. Yeah, lining up patterns is um, takes patience and practice. I, it took me a while to even figure out that that could be done. And then sometimes it just doesn't work. So don't feel like you've failed. A lot of times the patterns won't work because the way the foil's cut, uh, sometimes it doesn't... Like you'd have to have a bigger section in order to get... Uh, the pattern to line up. Does that make sense? This is the part of foiling where it takes lots of patience. Luckily, this foil I'm using here is pretty forgiving, so. I hope it works as great as I remember it working last year. Yeah, <laughs> Shelly's asking, do I get anxiety when I do a large space? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do. It is, um... Yep. 
<laughs> it's trying. It's patience trying. I get anxiety because I worry about the glue bubbling and causing uh, the patterns or the foils not to line up. And it's really hard to remedy that on such a large space. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it with the foil. Otherwise, you never get off the bench waiting. I know for a long time, I didn't try foil because I was nervous about it. And then when I did try it, the first few times it was horrible. And so I thought, oh, no, this isn't working. And then I had a really good experience with it and fell in love. So it's really, you know, it matters your first impression of things. So if you had a bad experience your first time in, don't give up, please. <laughs> it doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's horrible. It just means you need to practice a bit. And I'm always there. So if you guys are struggling, uh, PM me. I like to answer questions. Ask anybody. <laughs> I'm just the opposite, Shelly. I want to get the big stuff out of the way. I'm like, let's do the big one first. And then all the little stuff. But I'm a total procrastinator, so that's how I do it. And small spots to me are harder than big spots. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. I know I got a cross going in here, so I think I'm going to stop right here. Because I can do the other parts of this in sections. And just... Okay, so definitely I'm going to torch that, make sure that any bubbles I can get out, I can get out. And it helps to level out the glue when you warm it up a bit. See how it's kind of ripply? It helps to level it out and make it glossy. Obviously, you don't want it to smoke or burn, but see how nice and glossy that is with no bubbles or very few Okay, now we will cure it. Here goes nothing, guys. Oh, I should have checked the batteries in my flashlight first. That's okay. We'll eat chocolate while I'm waiting. I brought lots tonight. I got Reese's and Rolos and Dove Dark. I'm going to eat a Reese's. Aw, I'm the queen of foil. You're funny. <laughs> I'm one handing this chocolate here. Mmm. This flashlight makes it easy, though. I'm telling you, this is a game changer right here. Mmm, Reese's Pumpkin Phyllis. I didn't even know about that. Or, oh, you mean the Reese's in the pumpkin shape? Okay, I did know about that, but I thought you meant, is it pumpkin flavor or pumpkin shape? <laughs> Chocolate is definitely necessary, especially on high-stress days. <laughs> okay. We good. Here we go. So over here, which I should have probably done first, I'm going to make a bigger foil by lining up the patterns on this foil. And you won't be able to see it that well because, see, and then there's a bad edge on this, so I need to get rid of that so that doesn't show up on my face here. So I'm just going to cut that edge off. And that's unavoidable. Foil is that way. And if you guys bought Wanda Foil, you probably saw those edges in there. This is not Wanda Foil. But um, when they print on these foils, I mean, 
we're all human. Those machines, it's hard to, you know, like the edge of a book, how it has that, that line on the edge of a book and you can see sometimes the colors from the tests and stuff. That's what that is. It's just part of the printing process. But on some of mine, they got a little carried away there. So let's see. So we're going to line them up. What makes the best sense? It might not be perfect. It might not work at all. <laughs> let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm, you got to find a common a common design and then line it up that way but for some reason it's not okay I got it right there see this is what I was talking about it might not line up because the designs are going right down the middle of the foil there's one hang on guys give me a second once I get it lined up, I'll show you. Can you guys see over here? Okay. Sit right there. Yep. Okay, I got it. So I found a common, oh gosh, the glare's there. Let's see, a common leaf that I lined up right there, that part. So if you can line it up, then it will help seam the rest of it together. It's not perfect, but at least we have a semi-pattern going down the, the way. So what I'm gonna do is find my seam again and then tape it. I'm going to overlap it just a tad so that it's, uh, there's not like a space there. So I'm going to overlap it just like that. Don't move. And get some tape. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh cool, that landed right in the middle of the mustache, so that'll be a, a line that'll be hidden also. Okay, so I just wanna make sure it's not all crinkled. And then you can use a Q-tip, silicone tip, nail tool, even a um, like a soft cloth, uh, what are those called? Microfiber cloths and rub like that. You just want to rub and get all of those bubbles. You know, you want to see that it's like really laid down nicely. Like that. Or you can use the Q-tip to get in there. You just want something soft to start with so that you don't damage. Because you can damage the patterns and the foils. And then right at this edge, just be careful not to go into your glue because you'll it'll mess up the transfer on the other piece. Okay, just make sure you got all when you're working on a big area, just make sure you got all your areas. Hi Wendy. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys noticed, I tried to put the seam where it wouldn't show. So let me show you. Like when the cross is on, it'll cover up most of that part right there. And the other part's in the eyes. So the only part you'll see is like right there if it's off. All right, let's see. Good transfer. Oh, you guys are going to love this so much. When you pull off, pull off slow, remember, 
make sure you got a good transfer. If you need to lay it back down, do that. And this is so important, and I see so much, especially with metallics. Um, I think you guys rip them off too fast. Like when I used, when I first started doing tutorials, so in my early ones, you guys probably see me just rip it off real fast. Don't do that. <laughs> because then you can't put it back down. Like with this pattern, if you just, if you lay it back down wrong, then you're not lined up. So just go slow, have some patience. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> you're at the beach. <laughs> Wendy's at the beach. I'm jealous. I think Lori lives on the beach. I'm jealous of that, too. I'm just a jelly person today. I want to be on a beach. I mean, we got a little bit of a seam, but it's not bad, I tell you. You guys ready? Look. Look at how gorgeous is that. And you can just barely see that seam in there. See it right here? Yay. Okay, so now I'm going to take the part I didn't use and do this mustache part right here. Not really worried about the patterns lining up because it'll be separated by... <laughs> I think they lined up pretty good, though. <laughs> See, the less you stress about it, the better it goes. If you don't stress about it, usually it just works out. So even if your pattern's not all perfectly lined up, who cares? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna keep going. I've got this section down here and this section up here to work on. But I gotta find a fan, guys. I'm uh, having a hot flash here. Whew. Luckily, I got it right here. All right, send some good juju. Hot flashes, go away. All right, glue back here. Let's go ahead and do the chin. Isn't it cool, Susan? I know. I mean, when you think about a black sugar skull, it's like, no, 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 no. It's too dark, right? Because bones are white. But... Why? I don't like rules. You guys know that. We could paint a skull black, right? Lydia, are you the... Forgive me if I forgot who's... I think Lydia sent the... Um, what are those things? Magic Pearls by... SolarColorDust.com I used one in some DuraClear as the medium because you have to put those into a medium some kind of clear medium or yeah it has to be clear I'm pretty sure anyways they're color changing they go clear and then they show up when they go in the sun and I gotta show you what I did but hold just hold this thought because it's kind of funny oh where'd I put him Fred where are you Fred all right you guys ready to meet Fred I gotta make some room. Fred's kind of big. On my messy desk. Okay, this is Fred. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, okay, watch this. Now I gotta move the glue out of the way. Hang on. Because I gotta use the UV light. I know. Er, halfway through. Move the brush. Alright, watch Fred. Fred had an accident, but it only shows up in the sun. So when he goes out in the sunshine, he turns into a vampire, and you can see his boo-boos. Ain't that fun? UV activated. Totally cool. So the longer you put them in the sun, it works really good if you just take it outside. It gets really dark. This takes forever to do it. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys. That is what these do. The Magic Pearl 
No, not magic pearls. Oh my gosh. Where are they? Something, solar drops or something. <laughs> now I can't find them. I'm sorry. Where are they? I'll find them and show them to you again later. But they're liquid drops that you add to um, clear and they come in different colors. Where did I put those? Anyways, total fun right there. Lots and lots of fun. Kids would love that, right? Who? What kid would not love to play with that? I'm like a big kid. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, making a mess here. So that was Fred. What did we name this guy? Where's Nisi? <laughs> uh, Dr. Biff Mc... <laughs> I don't remember, but it was hilarious. Solar drops. They're solar drops. But I don't know where they are. <laughs> McBoner. That's right, Phyllis. <laughs> Biffy McBoner. Oh. Because, you know, he's a skull. It made sense. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitty areas here, so I gotta pay attention. <laughs> Mr. McBunner. <laughs> I think he's a witch doctor, so we named him Doctor, right? Well, I don't know if he is, but that's, I think, what the consensus was. Remember we made the story last night, if you were on? <laughs> I don't remember the whole story, but it was funny. Like, how'd he die? Did he have a family? Like, was he shot dead in the alleyway? Because, what was he? The pimp doctor or pimp daddy or something? <laughs> All right, I think the rest is all other foil bits. So we'll do this chin part here. <laughs> I can't remember how he died. Was anybody on last night? I didn't actually get to read the whole comments because I was working on a, the lining and you got to pay close attention to that, so... But um, I haven't gone back either through the comments, so.
So with the flashlight, it's usually 15 to 30 seconds. It's so much faster than the 60 to 90 seconds with the 6 watt. Okay. So I'm still going to use the other piece because it has space left to use. Just be careful when you do this so that you don't, don't put it on a place <laughs> that's already been used because it'll pull your paint up. So let's see here. I might not have enough for this one. Let's see that. All right, I'm going to use a new one. It that way and then catch the bottom down here Now I'm rubbing, but I'm not digging, so you don't want to leave um, marks on your foil. Very nice. Okay, looking good. And the static got me. Get off me. All right. Nice transfer down there. All right, now we'll do this area up here. And I'm going to do this in sections. Thank you, Phyllis. Thanks, Lori. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Honestly. Are you talking to me, Allison? I agree. I wish I lived by all you guys. Man, we'd have such a huge paint party.
Get <laughs> great minds. Yes. Karen, you're in Canada. Where are you? Okay, that's, yeah, do this section. Ooh, cold all day, Phyllis. Wow, we're like 92 today. <laughs> my husband took my son and a friend to Six Flags, and then we had to wait until 4 o'clock to go, they had to wait until four because it was too hot. <laughs> Nisi, hello. Oh my gosh, nine being your Celsius, right? So, what's that translate to Fahrenheit? <clears throat> Howdy, Nisi. Fifty-nine, burr. I wouldn't know how to act. <laughs> I think it's barely that in the winter here. <laughs> we might have, you know, a month with temperatures really low. Let me see here. Okay, I'm going to do this section here. And then this one. Thanks, Nisi. We're still foiling bonehead over here. <laughs> Almost done with the big part, though. Yes. 
We're in the money. Let's take a peek, see. Got a small seam there, but that'll be covered by the cross. Loving it. So we just got to do these little sections here, and then we'll move to the flowers and the, the leaves. So what did you guys think of these? Did I ask you? See, they're shiny, so I'm like, <laughs> bling, 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 bling. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. Okay, we won't do those. Oh, Lori said yes, and three no's. <laughs> they might be too big. I would get, you know, I would take the gold out the line but I know I want to play with the cat size stuff too so we will do that And that's a leaf, so. But this is not. You're good with me meow. <laughs> oh, the cat's like. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Pardon me. Sorry for the blurry. Don't you guys just love the weekend? It's like my husband has a saying, though, because he's retired. And so am I. Our son is still young and in, in school. He's a sixth grader this year. Anyways. Every day is a Saturday, except for Sunday. <laughs> That's his thing. It's always Saturday here. Oops, I missed a spot. Hang on. <laughs> cool, Nisi. I like that. That gift. So is it GIF or GIF, the G-I-F? How do you guys pronounce it? Do you guys know what the mandala effect is? Like not, I'm not talking about the art. <laughs> I'm talking about the mandala effect. You guys heard of that? It is like been happening so much to me lately. Like I'm remembering things differently than they are. And it's insanity. Okay, so the mandala effect is when you remember something wrong, but it's not just you. It's a collective memory that a lot of people share, but it's it's wrong. It's like, okay, Jif. Was it Jif or Jiffy? The peanut butter. Do you remember Jiffy? Okay, that's one. Okay, and then let's see. What's another one? That people collectively, it's like a percentage of the population remember it wrong. And it never was. Like, 
when did mandala die? And this is why it's called the mandala effect. It was never Jiffy, Kathy. It's always Jiff. Crazy, right? I remember Jiffy myself. Nope, never was a thing. And Karen, <laughs> it's nuts. I'm telling you guys, collectively, we are wrong. And it is insanity. You guys got to look it up. Look up what the Mandala effect is. It's like we've jumped a time, a, um, what's it called? A, like we're in a parallel timeline or universe or something like we skipped over into a different one and didn't know it or something I don't know I'm not into all that but it's weird to think about <laughs> there's an actual movie somebody made a movie about it because it was just totally too perplexing and it's a lot of things like that we remember wrong I'm trying to think of others I wish I had a oh I do here let me Look it up on my iPad real quick. Or somebody look it up. Look up the mandala effect and start putting them out there and asking questions. Okay, how do you remember this? And how do you remember that? It's common things like commercials and pictures and people. Like when did mandala die? Uh-huh. Looney Tunes or Lonnie Tunes are the Berenstein Bears. Berenstein Bears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty creepy, too. But I've been having this, like, weird sense lately that I'm remembering stuff wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's just, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> All right, so on these little sections, I'm just using up foil. That I have bits left on because they never match up anyway so here right you see it's diff not jiffy it's crazy I I I have memories of calling it Jiffy, and it never happened. <laughs> That's the weirdest feeling ever, because our brains do remember things wrong. Like, I can't remember what they say. Like, a, a really, it's an odd percentage of our memories are not right. We fill in the blanks. Yeah, Lori, damn or damn. Curious George, does he have a tail or does he not have a tail? Very good, Allison. Yep, that's one. All right, here I'm going to, now that I've got you guys going down the rabbit hole, aha, let's do some of these Wanda foils. Oops, see, I've already damaged it. Metallics are super delicate. Can you see through that right there? So I scratched it up when I was cutting it. So when you're working with them, you want to be very careful. Especially if you want a full transfer. So I'll use just part of this that I didn't damage uh, for this flower up here. But that's my fault. I unrolled them the other day and didn't roll them back up. And that's bad. Don't do that. Roll your stuff up. Especially if it's from me because it comes folded and you need to get it rolled up so that those folds don't rub off the foil. Hi, Jennifer. So how many people are going to watch that movie tonight? <laughs> and then we'll just have a whole live about the movie, The Crazy Mandala Effect. Oh my gosh, it's insanity. Yes. It is, Lydia. Hi. Oh, you missed it. I got to show you. I got to show Fred. What did I name him? Fred, the other um, skull dude. I used the solar drops. Just testing them out. And uh, I 
my skull had an accident, my other one. All right, I'm going to cure those petals. <laughs> Solar drops, yeah. <laughs> You'll see just a second. I'll show you. Solar drops. I meant, sorry, Oscar Mayer or Oscar Mayer. Ha ha ha. We're talking Lydia about the mandala effect. Do you know what that is? How do you remember the peanut butter? Jiffy or Jeff? All right, I'm going to use red. I might have to get in a, another piece, I think. Yep. I want you guys to see a perfect transfer. Okay. So, you know, metallics are the nemesis of all, right? These are Wanda foil, and they're easy release, and it's about the foil and about the glue. So when you're using metallics, you want to be on top of your game. Make sure you torch to get the bubbles out. Use the appropriate lighting, because you want all of those things in your favor. There's very little room for mistakes on metallics they show everything they're unforgiving they're not my favorite thing to work with but they're beautiful if you can make them work so and they stick to everything else too <laughs> i'll have some touch-ups to do but you guys gotta see this and since these have no pattern see you can see where i didn't get the glue down a lot of times when we pull them up we think oh no it didn't stick but there's no glue there but look how beautiful that is don't look at that because I got to fix that. But isn't that pretty? Beautiful red. Nice and deep. Ooh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. So we'll touch that up with purple because I got to reline around there, anyways. That'll be covered. And we're going to do green in the leaves here. That's the one. Yep, that's the one, Phyllis. <laughs> Hi, Lonnie. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to do these greens with my faceted green from the other metallics that I have. I'm out of them in my shop right now, but they are on their way. The, um, the primary colors are the six-piece set because they're faceted metallics, which they have. They're beautiful. <laughs> that yep that's another one mod podge mod podge <laughs> And, you know, we go through our whole life without knowing about these weird memory things. And then all of a sudden someone like me goes, hey, do you know about? And then it ruins our life. So 
don't don't jump down that rabbit hole. It's not like that. It's I think it's probably some normal thing, but it's weird, isn't it? Hang on, guys. This is the set I'm talking about. If you guys ordered these, they're on their way back into stock. The holographic metallics. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> This is a cheap set, too. When I say cheap, not too expensive. It's only, I think, $4 for six I had it set at. So, anyways, this is my set. I'm opening them finally. Put these in my pile over here. I'm just going to cut off the ends so I have something to work with. All right, these colors. There's the green. Beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous green, isn't it? Pretty, pretty. So, like I said, the key to metallics being successful is basically you want to torch the glue, make sure there's no bubbles. Make sure you're using the right glue and a good light that's not overpowering the recommended glue and light, basically. Because if it's recommended by me or Katie, it's been tried. We've tried so many, and the failures we don't recommend. And then sometimes things change, too, like... Companies will change their suppliers and it's not the same as it used to be like what happened with the six watt lights. They were good in the beginning. I don't know why I did that. Hang on. Anyways, they were good in the beginning and then they changed and they're not consistent anymore. So we stopped recommending those. So now I'm just using the flashlight for the glue. The UV lights, the other ones work fine on the resin and top coats and other UV products, but the nail foil glue is super, super picky about what light you put on it. When you're working on a rock, put it on your fingernails and it's totally different. Though I don't recommend wearing UV products on your nails, only because there's an allergy. <laughs> and if you accidentally get it on your skin, it's awful. So... Personally, I don't know how you could do your nails without getting it on your skin. It's such a weird thing. Okay, I put glue down there in a place I don't want it. So before... <laughs> Bippy's looking spiffy. Thank you. Uh, yes, nail glue is persnickety and easy. Uh, anyways, that little spot I'm going to refoil with the gold flowery filigree stuff <laughs> okay Wendy thanks for hanging out oh I'm gonna eat too I'm gonna eat a Rolo this time <laughs> last time it was peanut butter cup it's chocolate 30 Okay, first things first, little tiny piece, it's not even going to show but I need to get the sticky off the glue. Okay, now the green won't stick to that. <laughs> and then with my green foil,
I'm trying not to press too hard and get it on the other areas. <laughs> Nice. Love. They look like jewels, huh? That's so pretty. I love that foil. Okay. Top part's done. We're going to be putting a rhinestone there. Oh, I got to do these little bits. Sorry. Forgot those. What color should we do those? Pink? <laughs> what? That's funny. Yes, this is the best flashlight, Lydia. I agree. I'm looking for a comment I just saw. What, Nisi? You're right. 3CPO. I did not know that. Wait, it's C-3PO. Wait, 3CPO or 3? Now I'm all messed up. What? <laughs> what, what? Ooh, let's do this blue. Yas. Look at that pretty. Fancy jewels. Chin flower. Where'd they go? I went this one, I think. Doggies, not mine. <laughs> Three CPO. Wow, that doesn't sound right to me. I want to say C three PO, but that don't make sense either. <laughs> C three PO. Three CPO. No, it's got to be C three PO. That's how I remember it too, Jennifer. C-3PO. R2-D2. Wow. Yeah. You're right. Katie, hi. Katie's here.
<laughs> All right, and then let's do what color did I decide? I don't remember. I think it was this one. Ta da! And the little bits. C3P. Uh huh. It's crazy, right? right? Who remembers it wrong then? Nisi? We're talking about the mandala effect, Katie, and how we <laughs> weirdly, oddly remember things wrong. Have you ever heard of it? Quite interesting. Is it Jiffy or Jiff, Katie? Peanut butter. All right, so this is an, another Wanda Foil, too. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, my gosh. It's part of the fall. Fall foils. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. So, now, we're going to be putting stones in that. Oh, I missed some green. Darn it. Just thought I was done. Diff. See, Katie remembers it, right? Most of us remember Jiffy. Now, I know it's Jiff because my son eats it, but when I bought it, I don't know, he was like four when he started eating peanut butter. When I bought it for the first time, I was tripping out. I was like, Jiff, when did they change the name? <laughs> I swear, I thought it was Jiffy forever. <laughs> And then, what were the other ones? Oh my gosh. While well, we're talking about C3PO, or is it 3CPO, has one silver and one gold lake. <laughs> and how the Mandela, Mandala effect got its name is when did Mandala die? How do you remember? What do you remember about it? Because it's remembered wrong through most of history. Most people believe that he died in jail, prison. Where did he die? When did he die? Without looking it up. Do you remember? <laughs> I'm going to use this lighter green on this one. Okay, so Katie, we're going to do the cat's eye on the eyes. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put stones in there so that'll be in the resin layer. I do need to touch up the purple though. So I'm going to do that. Should I do the cat? Let's do the cat's eye first. Okay, Jennifer, you remember it right then. I don't know which one I want to use though. I'll use this one. The gel. Because I want a little thicker. This is the reddish one. This one's the green red, gold red. Kathy, when you say your resin rolls off your foils, is it UV resin or two part resin? Let's 
like a golden green. I don't want that one. Mr. Resin. Um, for Mr. Resin to roll off the foil, is it, it does that to me when I work, when I take a long time with it. If you put it on, spread it out, flame it, and then cure it right away, it won't do that. But it's just easier if you spray it with uh, Rust-Oleum 2X, and then you can resin it with whatever you want. Yeah, foils and resin don't like each other. Not usually. That's why you have to spray it. If you're using two-part, for sure. Usually with UV resin, you don't have to spray it. But the other day I was working on a tattoo, and it rolled right off the tattoo. Um, so it's kind of like plastic it rolls off of, right? And foils have a plastic in them. So this is the one. We should do that for the eyes, guys. Or do we want to do green eyes? What do we want to do? Yeah, UV top coat is good. Oh, that one's pretty too. Okay, so I have a red and a purple. Ooh, this one's a purple. I think it's a blue and a purple. It changes. Yeah, this one's like a dark blue purple shift, but it's hard to see the shift in this one. There's the blue, there's the purple. <laughs> That'd be quite pretty, huh? Look at that one. Yeah, that one's boring. I thought I had a green. This is the blue-green. That's so funny. It looks purple to me, but it looks blue to you. So this one's purple and then blue shift. I think I like the other one. This one. Yeah, you guys are right. Smart. You guys are smart. Okay. I'm going to put all these other ones away so I don't make a mess. And they are messy. Make sure you store them right side up too because, man, they like to leak. Even the good ones and expensive ones, they like to leak. All right, I'm going to use... Fences, schmence, and nail brush. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. Not yet, sorry. I'm going to use a. What am I going to put there first? Base coat. Where would it be? I think base coat. <laughs> So I'm going to use a foundation by Beatles, which is their base coat. I'm doing it so I can mimic what happens on a fingernail because it just looks really awesome on the nails. And so far I haven't been able to reproduce the look. I can make the line, but all the other fun stuff has been really hard for me. So I'm going to try to do it the way they do it on the nails. Let's do one at a time. <laughs> okay, I am gonna torch that just to warm it up because it's on a cold rock. Be careful of your foils so you don't burn them. <laughs> it's all about that base. That base. Oh, that's too funny. Was that Megan? What's her name? More smart ass over there. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> base coat takes a tad longer to cure. So, okay. Especially when you stick your light in it. And I'm going to put the polish on. That's nice. Smooth like butter this time. The base coat has something and it works with the polish like they grab onto each other. So should I do the flower design or the line? All right, let me catch the things here. Ah, they're all stuck together. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. The flower would be cool. Okay, here we go. Flower. That's pretty cool looking. Doesn't <laughs> maybe I'll try to do no, I don't want to mess it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna cure that one just to make sure it stays. <laughs> You have to cure them pretty fast or they disperse again. And they have a sticky inhibition layer, so you want to get a top coat on it right away. Otherwise, you'll put your fingers in it and leave marks and stuff. Oh, I think my light is going out. No. my top coat guys alright and I'm gonna grab a rhinestone to put in this we're gonna put one right in the middle of the flower Or maybe not a rhinestone, but a big thing. I know. They're in the laundry room. If I go get them, they're far away. <laughs> I wonder if that's too big. That's probably too big, huh? Yeah. Dang. Okay, hang on. Okay, do we want a heart, a diamond, squoval, in the middle of the eyeball? Do I even have, yeah, I have hearts. Hearts would be cool, huh? Or, oh, I might change my mind, guys. I have these flowers. They're, well, they're sequin things but they're flowery 
these. That'd be pretty in the middle, wouldn't it? A pony. Lori. <laughs> diamond as in diamond shape or diamond like diamond. Okay, yes on the flower. <laughs> Ride it, my pony. Oh yeah, genuine. <laughs> You're so genuine, Nisi. Might be showing my age there, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring the flower. We're going to do the flower. I just got to cut off the little bits from the edges of it. Now... Can I drop it in there with making a mess? Come on, tweezers. Come on down. Uh oh. Are you guys still there? My computer is froze on my TV. Not where we are either. Weird. Okay. Nope. Shoot. That's what I was afraid of. Messing it up. Okay. Covered up the whole thing. Darn it. It is pretty cool looking though, huh? But it covered it up. So I can take it out of there. Because that's just the top coat. <laughs> and then we'll put a stone. A stone in there. That was too big. Okay, I'm just going to pick one. Um, I think a heart. I like that better. Wow. Same age, peoples. I'm not 56, but we got a lot of you that are right around the same age there. I'm in my 40s. Seven ish. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nisi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I'm going to squeak here. Happy birthday. Day, dear Nisi. Happy birthday to you. Nobody laughed at me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Yep, that's Marilyn. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. So on the nose, I think we need to do laser, like um, either laser foil or the holographic glitter.
I know we're going to do a flower here, but I want to see what the cat's eye would look like. <laughs> so just hold on. That's so cool how it just pulls it all in there, right? And then you just paint it back and it comes back. Aww. We got 25 here. Congratulations. All right, flower. Ooh, that one's better looking than the other one. Oh well. Cure that while it's nice. I'm also going to do rhinestones around the eye. You know how there's like usually lace all around the eye? I just hope I have enough for the rhinestones. It's done. Guys, my nose is running away. <laughs> What's going on, man? Allergies. There's something called, is it pigweed here? That's totally in bloom. Okay, top coat. Got to remember my steps here. And I need a heart. It's a lot of long marriages there, huh? Hundreds of years if we add it all together. You know, I'm being lazy. I need to get my thingy. Obviously. I mean, why do you even bother not using it? <laughs> Come on. Okay, flashlight work. I'm putting the rhinestones in there because the top coat's already on there, so I won't need to resin that. And so now we got to do the touch ups real quick with the purple. Oh, got to make some room. Nick. Lucky you, I went gray early.
don't forget when you use tools with UV to clean them because they will be forever ruined if you don't clean that out of them. Because even your overhead light eventually will cure UV. It might not cure it all the way, but it'll make it unusable. So. There's alcohol. Okay, the purple. from yesterday is Violet Pansy by Folk Art. And liner brush. Darn glare. <laughs> Can't see that at all. There you go. Sorry. I'm trying to clean up the red paint that we got, or the red foil that touched on the. Aw, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Nisi. Spiffrelicious.
Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. Hello. Let me put you back in there. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. No. This is acrylic paint, but it doesn't roll off the brush. Nope. Come on, focus. I don't know why it won't focus. There you go. No, but this is um, Folk Art Violet Pansy. I I think it's with the I don't know well these are nail detail brushes they're made to be used with like UV products and acrylic paint but um, some brushes don't like water based products so you need a natural bristle brush for that like a Kolinsky Sable. And these brushes, like I said last night, if you were on, um, this, let me grab the other two. These three, they are available on Amazon, but I will also have them in my shop. I'm starting with 10 to see if you guys like them. And then um, I'll keep carrying them if you guys give me some good feedback on them. But I love these liner brushes. They are really, really nice. But if you don't want to wait for them in my shop, absolutely. Um, I'll get you the link and you can try them out. Alright, so for around the eyes, I want to do rhinestones, but I need a base. So, should I do gold dots or black dots? What do you guys think? I'm going to use a dotting tool. Maybe. I'm going to put dots all the way around, though this is not big enough, I don't think. Do we think gold? Karen, no, Katie's not coming on tonight. She's in the audience, though. <laughs> She's with you guys chatting in the comments. Gold, okay. I miss my Katie though. So this is just a dotting tool. Um, it came in a kit, I think off Amazon. I'm gonna start here.
<laughs> Might not need the jewels, huh? They're gonna be nice and tall. Dots are not my strong point. <laughs> I know you think this should be simple. Certainly. Not too awful bad, eh? <laughs> yeah, they fit, they make it, it's kind of looking like a sugar skull now, huh? <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot. You want to test Wanda? What, what? <laughs> Katie wants to test Wanda? Why? What? <laughs> no, nobody told me there was a test today. What are we testing, Katie? Oh, yeah, jump on. I see what you're saying. Sorry. Yes, yes, come on. We're, I got, seriously, guys, I probably got about an hour left, so let's test. Let's see with Katie. If for some reason she has to go off, we're going to lose sound. If that happens, I'm going to... Um, have to come back in. So if you guys want to watch the end of it, you're going to have to find us again. But go ahead, Katie. Uh, yeah, I had to go back out and come back in when you left last night. <laughs> it's okay, Katie. Come on. Okay, hold on. Here she is. Let me grab her. Okay, it says adding. Yay! Hi. It worked. Yay. Is it right? The right way up? Yeah. See awesome. my hair, y'all? It's all yeah. nice and short. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. Is there purple in it? Yeah, I put some in it. Um, and I didn't do a very good job, so it's kind of spotty. I like it. You look like, hi, Jeremy. Happy birthday. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Um, aw, she's doing another owl. Show them oh, your show them your skull. That's that's just sketched out. I haven't gotten to it yet. And don't get upset. She made a video, so <laughs> don't worry, because I know some of you were gonna do this tutorial. So when are you uploading that one? Well, I hadn't planned on uploading it. Ha ha, you are now. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, well, if she's not going to upload it, then what will we do? Do it again? Well, I could always do it again. I'm just playing. You can just tell us how you did it. How about that? This is mostly all gouache, Arteza gouache uh, paint. And then um, Posca. These are chameleon flakes in the middle and some liquid pearls. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron's asking how you fix the problem. I'm assuming that is with the uh, video. Yeah, you'll have to read the comments to me, but because okay. uh, I only have the last message I have is Phyllis said toes crossed. Toes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's a little I didn't sad. fix it. It fixed itself. I still have the issue of my chat not working, but at least the screen is split right. That's good. Last night it was split in half long wise and I couldn't see what you were doing or what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Nisi, the traceable is on last night's live in the comments. For this it's the picture it's there's no like black and white traceable it's the picture of her skull i'll upload the video i just gotta slow it down because i sped it up real quick just to show you so thank you i'm sorry i'll slow it down you. and uh so good i want you to share it and do a voiceover okay thank you love sorry i didn't mean to put you on the spot that was terrible friends don't do that bad friend bad friend okay so wanda I'm, friend does <laughs> wanda friend don't sorry no wonder friend okay guys so for the nose do we want to do laser foil or the um oh my gosh i can't think what's it called the glitter holographic yes thank you chameleon powder Ooh, that's a good idea but I need the nose to be kind of black. Is there a black chameleon powder? Oh. That I don't know. Because I have the flakes. You have the powder. I have both. Oh. Sorry. I have both. I just got the powder today. And the flakes. Talking about these are awesome, you guys. Oh, my gosh. No, there's not really a black one. Yeah, let me check the powder. I don't think there's a black in there either. And I believe it's Susan Nelson. Thank you for the tip on these. If I'm remembering right. Yeah, Can I was just practicing last night when I did the nose and I really loved how it came it out. Pretty jars, aren't those cute? <laughs> so there's, I think there's more per pot. It says, they're between four and five grams in each jar, which is way more. And I love Yuli, you guys. I love her. I love the shops. But I can't find a difference in quality. Though there's not as many colors to choose from, right? But you pay $10 a gram usually at Yuli. She does have some pretty unique colors, though. So if you're needing a specific... This is so blurry. There, look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so those are the powder. Let me, I don't know if they're open in the pot. Hang on. Like, look at that color. This is Let's Resin Intense Chameleon Powder. I can get you the links for these at the end. I wasn't sure if I was going to be showing them or using them. 
My fault. <laughs> no worries. I got to let those dots dry a little anyway, so this is a good intermission. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Allison, the um, naturalist glitter. I was thinking about that, actually. Oh, that's a good one. I forgot about that. I'm looking for it, though. I'm looking around my desk. What did I do with it? <laughs> I can't recall where I have put it off to. Anyways, okay, now you guys got to see the flakes. Oh, my gosh. Some pants peeing fixing to happen. You ready? <laughs> right, Katie? <laughs> yep. And these are full to the brim. Yep. Full. Look at this. Get that shift. Can you see? Oh my God, I wish you could see it. It's so terrible on the video. Shift is on the video. Okay, I'm going to rub it in my hand. Watch this. Maybe you can see the shift. See the purple, gold, orange, green? Move now on, so cool. Now watch, it's going to go. Show it, dang it. There's a blue. It has this pretty turquoise blue. There's the green. Can you see the green? This color is nuts. It's crazy. It's like a five-way shifter. <laughs> yeah, it's they're <laughs> awesome. The flakes are even awesomer. Awesomer. I love it. So this is similar, but um, I'm going to leave it in the bottle, and you can see the shift going all the way across it with the roll. Let me bring that last one back up and see if we can see the shift in the bottle. I don't know why we can't see the blue. It's so crazy. There's so much blue in this. Hmm. Last time I put it out of, where did I put it? That's where you can see the blue. See, now you can kind of see the blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look at other colors. Sorry. Yeah, my messy background there. So this one's a green, blue, gold. Come on. Okay, well, we don't focus, so sorry, guys. <laughs> Another one, there's a lot like this, like the gold red shifts and then green purple shifts. What is it? Like, it says there's five colors, but it looks like there's two, just three of each, huh? Or six color, no, five colors. It says they're five times half gram. There's got to be more than a half gram in those. Crazy. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful. Let me see if I can find my stuff. Also, you guys have been asking about um, Christmas. I got Christmas foil. I missed the Halloween foils. Sorry, can't do nothing about that. You decided on the Christmas? No, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to do those either. It's they're. Yeah, I was going to tell you. I don't think so. Yeah, they're not. There's not a good enough selection for me to jump in there and make that kind of a commitment. Because, <laughs> uh, but I ordered this set. I think Julie showed it today too. But um, there are a whole bunch in here, and I linked it earlier. I'll link it again. I just wanted to show you, these are great foils. I do recommend them. They're all the good kind. And they have so many different Christmas things that you really don't need big old rolls of Christmas foil because you don't use that right. once a year. So, I mean, this thing goes on and on and on. There's like 
I can't even remember, but I think there's 80 in here. So totally, you can get your whole Christmas out of one pack, okay? That's that. Now, Katie, what did I do with my natural egg? <laughs> Oh, gosh, I haven't been there. I know. Okay, well, that's out. See, when I clean, I lose things, so I try not to do that. <laughs> yeah, she wants me to come clean. <laughs> yeah, come clean. Do it, do it. Well, it works when you do it. I don't know why. Okay, Did you well, find it? Yeah, yeah. Yay. Okay. Woohoo! Sorry, guys. Okay, got it. Yay, yay, yay. I find it. Oh, and those flakes come with brushes to apply them, too. The flakes and the powder. Sorry about all that. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, my gosh, I love this paint. Okay, so we've got some more rhinestone work to do, which is resin. And the cross. We need to see what the cross looks like, huh? You were gonna do a sticker, right? Yeah. Okay. Three centers. Sorry, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, you guys know that this paint is paint with a brush. Sorry. Oh. Slightly off center. I was out of focus. Sorry, guys. Look at that beautiful nose. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, we got a nose job. <laughs> Okay, so what did I say I was going to do? Katie, what did I say I was yeah. going to do? Did you hear me? Oh, right? I'm sorry. I was picking out colors. That's okay. She's over there picking out colors, guys. <laughs> Thing. Do I have to use anything under the powder or mix it with anything? Yes, um, the powder you can mix with top coat if you just want like a, uh, like this look, just a painted on glittery look. That's what it'll look like if you mix just the powder. If you want a chrome look, you put the top coat on, cure it, and then buff it in and it's high chrome. You guys, I'm lost. I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, the cross. I was gonna show you the cross. Holy. Whew. Okay, I'm not gonna take the sticker off because we're putting it in the resin layer. But look at that. And then there's going to be a red stone in the tooth. And then all of these are going to be rhine, um, rhinestones. Let's pick those out so at least I got them ready to go. How about that? All right. So I know that I need this guy right here. And no, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Darn it. Uh, 
Uh oh. I might have to use all of these, which is going to be weird, I think. Maybe not. I'm going to turn them to three. <laughs> it would have been cooler if they were tapered, but And then I'm going to put two on the outer side there. Of... Man, that's looking so cool. Thank you. I should do these because they do taper. What's that? Uh oh, I just need to see here. Hang on. Okay, I got some marquee um, stones here that. Uh, Hang on, guys, I gotta change my gloves. I don't know how I did it, but I got into something over here. Hold on. <laughs> what are you making over there, Katie? Backgrounds. Oh, cool. I needed to do a bunch of my little rocks and just to have some around so when i don't have a lot of time i can just bust out a quick kindness rock gotcha so i wanted to try these because they go they taper down i have them in sizes so I could start with that one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna lift up so I'm not bumping. See, I messed up here when I didn't um, <laughs> touch up that side, the paint job, oh my gosh. Move up a size, hang on. I will figure this out, I promise.
I'm liking these. You guys probably can't even see that, can you? Can a you little see? bit. that better? He's got a grill, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, gosh, it's still on there. I have to take these off to reattach them, but I just want you guys to see like the taper. I'm so glad I got these. <laughs> you know, when you buy something, you're like, what am I ever going to do with those? But they're so pretty, you have to buy them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this was. And it was off of... Uh, with AliExpress, so it took like nine months to get here. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Very cool. And then there's going to be this on the tube. Thank you, Allison. Look at this. And then I want to add stones to each of these, but I need to push them down a little bit. Tops dry, so I can push them down a bit. Otherwise, the stones won't sit on there right. They'll, t you know, teeter. That wasn't dry. <laughs> well guys I can't do the resin layer until the paint dries and I've got some wet paint here around the eyes and the nose so what shall I do hmm <laughs> We'll just keep going and pick out the other rhinestones that go around the rock, okay? Because there's a whole bunch more. Yeah, I have this size, so I think I'm going to put these all around the eyes. I'll show you what those are going to look like. I can't put them on there yet because it's still kind of tacky. But I can put like one or two there. I'll show you guys. So it's going to go all the way around the eye. That's going to be pretty, huh, Katie? Heck yeah. I want to do a ring inside the nose here of little bitty ones. But that might be asking uh, too much. Of you guys. I messed it up. <laughs> That's what I get for trying something new. <laughs> no. Thank you. It's my bleeding skull. So there's going to be rhinestone here, here, which I need a big one on that one. And then one of these will be down here. Let's 
So on that one, that looks good, yeah. You know, maybe I'll use top coat. Let's do it. We'll just do it. If I have to redo a little bit, I'll have to redo it because I want you guys to see it. So here we go. All right, top coat, here we come. It's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> it's so cool. I know I said that already, but it really is. Thank you. Super duper cool. I was trying a stamp and it was a big failure. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. I have I have issues putting the stamps down. I never get them down right and then when you try to match it up it never works. Yeah. I have troubles oh. with it myself. I got some stamps and it seems like they I have double stamp, you know. It like looks like I tried to line it up twice, you know. Yep. And that uh, stays on. Once it's on, it's on. It takes a lot to get it off. <laughs> Lori, I got it, girl. Everywhere, all of it, I'm on it. <laughs> what? Lori told me to put it everywhere, all of it. <laughs> oh. Put all of it, everything on there. Mm-hmm. Your whole desk. Yep, everywhere, all of it. I'm not going on top of the hearts because I want them to stay, uh, you know, faceted, bling blingy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm all quiet. I'm trying to remember where I put it and where I have it. <laughs> okay, I think.
I think we're nice and gooey. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Yeah, we're here. Okay, since this is top coat, I'm going to put the stones in it and then I might have to cure it as we go, maybe, or stick it in the big light. I don't know. Get in there. Yay. Try to put an angle so you guys can see. Can you see better that way? I feel like I'm missing some. Hmm. Well, I think you really outdid your last year's one. Hmm. Thank you. Goes to show you how much you've grown. Yay. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. I think I missed a thing here. Where? I have to have two of the same size next to each other and then we'll make it work. What what's going on? I got um some paint in the background that I don't like, so I'm trying to cover it up with the rhinestones, but I'm trying to get oh. the right size. Get them off. <laughs> gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay.
You know, I can't understand why the F Facebook Live is working so great tonight on a Saturday night when you think it would be way busier right. than a Friday night. You know? Yeah, I'm not. I... Although it is a weird holiday weekend. I don't know when people started celebrating Columbus Day, but um there's a lot of kids out my son's got a 40 weekend yeah so it's like people are going on vacations holy cow these are not staying straight <laughs> sorry guys hang on holy moly see i'll never quit i'll never let you quit. concentrate This is when you're very happy to have a little flashlight cure zapper thing. Okay, I don't want to cure the whole thing, just this thing to put them in so they don't move. Oops. And don't forget to put your stone before you cure. That's right. You need them in the circles too. So anywhere I have a loop-de-loop -loop on the would they be the loop de loop? Uh, you'll agree the swishes, the plants, whatever. I'm putting little stones there too. Uh, Wanda. Oh, what? Well, remember when I spilled those stars everywhere? Yeah. I, I have been it. finding stars all over everything. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's because you're such a star. Oh, awesome. I know. <laughs> but it's like oh. on my tablet, on my phone, in my chair. It's just everywhere. Well, looky here. I got oh. my everywhere too. <laughs> okay, can you guys see better like this? Kinda, I guess. Well, it's like there's a glare the other way, so I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Is this better than the other way? I know it's not optimum, but when we share a screen, we get, you know, it's, you know what it is. It's half the room. I jacked you all up wanting to test it out. No, you didn't. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. No jacking going on. <laughs> Sorry. Wanda. Hey, Nisi came. She's, I'm just, I'm channeling Nisi. It's all Nisi's fault. <laughs> She's still on. <laughs> Sorry if my, my face is like right in the microphone. So. <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, you. Nisi had a question for Katie. What was the question, what? Nisi? I'm sorry, I couldn't see. Hang on. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, she said me. What's the question? <laughs> Pete and repeat. Lori, we can't hear <laughs> You're funny, Lori. <laughs> I can see the chat now because I plugged my tablet in. Oh, cool. Now when you're almost done. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to be well. I still got rhinestones going everywhere. 
I think probably about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll be done. On the orange rock, I used um, cadmium orange hue and gold. This is one of my favorite golds is the Liquitex Basics. that did this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like a sunrise. I was going for Halloween, but it's like a sunset. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like a, oh, speaking of, I need some candy. <laughs> Let's, see. Let's open a dove this time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're gonna whip out the dove. I don't have any of that. You're eating chocolate all night, girl. What you talking about? I did have cheesecake earlier though, so I love this. Oh, I'm gonna just tore it. Are we ready? Look. Keep life moving forward, looking backwards only. For time travelers. For time travelers. I love it. Basically, who needs to look at their past? Nobody. Thank you. It's past is done. You can't change it. So let it go. Word. You know, right? It's like live on your own advice, people. <laughs> She whipping it. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Oh, good night. What time is it? Seven. I came on at four thirty. <laughs> You guys are amazing. You have some troopers, that's for sure. I do. I am so lucky and blessed, you guys. You are, seriously, who does that? Who hangs out with their, their art group for three hours? I love you. I love you, man. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Darn it. I was going to use the new square dancing foil. Now <laughs> oh, it's too late. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it gives me something to do tomorrow, right? So I will think up something to do tomorrow and I'll use the new square dancing foil. That crazy, amazing foil. It's crazy cool looking. Have you guys got any ideas for your square dancing foil? What are you going to do with it? No idea. Oh, Jennifer, pumpkin pie. That's my favorite with whipped cream, Cool Whip. Pumpkin pie and Cool Whip. And when oh. the pie's gone, just give me a spoon. I'm going to sit there and eat Cool Whip. <laughs> we do have square dancing foil. Oh my gosh, Jan. Okay. I'm sure it's dancing squares, but I like calling it square dancing. Are you ready for some coolness? Look at this. Ready?
See how they dance around? They go in and out of each other, and I don't know how. I still haven't figured this thing out. It's a hologram for sure, but I don't know how it works. It's insane. Watch them, watch them grow. <laughs> what is what <with> this? <laughs> Anyways, yes, this is the eight centimeter wide, so it's one of, it's sold in the sheets. But look at that business there. Hmm. So that's square dancing foil. French Vanilla Cool Whip. I'm already nuts just by the sound of it. Shut up. It seems like I had something. Did they have that last year? Or a flavored one? Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Jan figured it out already. Wow. My eyes can't see it because they don't it just keeps moving so I can't <laughs> I can't stop the squares and I was like I have to have that because <laughs> it was glittery and blingy and uh. Yep, that one um, is definitely flying out the door. So it is um, $1.75 a sheet. And um, it's $2 shipping because it comes in a hard, a, a, what's it called, a rigid mailer. And that's for anywhere, all countries. So. I kind of want to do a pumpkin with it. What do you guys think? Like a whole, di make it a disco pumpkin. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Like, like the same uh, drawing, the same outline as, as the blue pumpkin we just did, the turquoise, but make it all that and call it square dancing. What do you guys think? You want to do it? I said rigid, shut up, Daisy. <laughs> It's a rigid male lure. <laughs> male lure. Okay, I'm going to add a little top coat in these areas here. Because it did, it moved off the foil because I had been working on this for a long time. And... Yep, we have two. Okay. Wow. Nothing slid around, right? Okay. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Katie wrote. <laughs> Katie wrote boob. She did. Now I'm going to say it. You know why? It's that time of the year, guys. Squeeze your boobs. Save a life. Squeeze them. And I'm not, yes, I'm not playing. And then go get your lady bits checked out. Right, Katie? Yep. And if you're the, at that age to get the old back end one, you got to do that too. Oh, yeah. Get to I get have it. three people in my family that have issues with polyps that are precancerous. Oh, so it's absolutely necessary. Definitely do that. 
Well, one had cancer. We love you. And just do it. Trust me. It sucks. It's uncomfortable. But if you have to do the test, mom said, I'm passing <laughs> this along. Ask them if they try to give you the gallon solution to drink that you don't want it. You want the two drink solution because nope. it's just two little five ounce drinks compared to a whole gallon. Oh, that's, yep. I'll be doing that. Thank you. That's good advice. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to pop it in the big light for two minutes. But, guys, let me turn on my flash. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Look at that foil, Katie. That's, that's cool. freaking awesome. That's well, your foil? Yeah, that's Wanda foil. I'm your so foil I'm rocks. <laughs> I kind of agree. I'm, you know, biased, but. Wanda foil. Look at the eyes. That's so amazing, man. Just everything to it. It's worth all the work. <laughs> this one was probably, I think, my most favorite ever. <laughs> I think I might have to keep this one for myself. It is in the light cooking. Look at that. Okay, what do I have Golly. to show you? I got lots of mail today. Not, I didn't get, oh, Katie, Lydia, Katie, are you coming Tuesday? Yeah. Okay, Lydia sent us a box. We got angel mail from Lydia, so we're gonna open that on Tuesday and show you guys. Ooh, thank you, Lydia. I have no idea what's in it. I haven't opened it at all. So, <laughs> let me see what's up here. I got. Oh, <laughs> you guys won't care about this. <laughs> it's not deodorant or nothing, but <laughs> it's quarter pans. They're little minis for watercolor. See the huh? little minis? See the oh, little minis? yeah. They're cool. mini pans. So I can make little watercolors that dry faster. How you guys like yeah. that? And then they won't be very expensive. <laughs> I'm trying to make awesome. It. And I got. <laughs> you see what that is? Silver candy wrappers to wrap the watercolors in. <laughs> oh, oh! I got some new tattoos. This was definitely a 3 a.m. buy. Hey, Nisi, I got a taker on the school. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see what I got here. Look at that beautiful eagle. These are huge tattoos, by the way. I can't remember why I got them, but that's a good one for Halloween. It says freedom, animal face. Why did I buy these? There has to be something in here that I needed. Or maybe they sent me the wrong one. That's a cool elephant. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Sorry, sorry. I forgot the elephant's name. Thanks, Sam. Look at that. Look at that one. Whoa, that is creepy. That is cool. Was it the owl? You guys, I have no idea why I bought this. <laughs> Did you ever do that? They Maybe they sent me the wrong ones because I was looking for something, but I don't remember what. This one is anchors away. That's funny. Yeah, that doesn't look like one you would have bought, some no. of those. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. Why did I buy this? Sometimes it's just for a little old tiny one and it come, I couldn't find it nowhere. No, couldn't have been that. <laughs> well, 
guys, we'll be having some uh, tattoos in our boxes here. Oh, there's some guns. Yay. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, well, those are a little unimpressive. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're not ones that I would normally get. They're good quality, though. They're from a good brand or a good. It's where I buy my other ones from. Anyways, okay, that and I got some. Uh, oh, I'm gonna try save the Ganesh too. though. That would be a cool one to do. That's her name, the elephant, the Ganesh, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got the transfer, the deco foil transfer gel duo because I want to try. It takes a long time to grow, uh, grow, dry. It dry. You have to let it dry for an hour. But this, I think, I'm hoping that you can transfer full sheets better because you know I have this in the just the squeeze on one, the adhesive. Anyways, this is supposed to be heat or no heat. And these are, you can use heat with these, not like an iron on it. Okay, no. You, if you wanna put them on paper, you attach them and then run them through like a laminating machine. There's a whole process. Don't just try to do it. You go on YouTube and look at how to use, this is heat transfer foil, not vinyl, foil. Anyway, same thing as nail foil. I just learned that they are the same thing. And uh, yeah, so we are going to figure this out because I want to use this for big stuff. It doesn't work on rocks for little stuff though. Like it works minimally for a, minimally for a transfer. If you're doing, um, what is it, mixed media and you just need a patchy, you know, transfer, perfect for that. If you want a whole beautiful, like, flawless transfer like I did tonight with that one. I don't think this is going to work. I'm hoping that's what I want it to do. If it does, we might be able to use it and get away from the UV. So we'll see. I'm looking for an alternative to the UV glue, obviously, because of the allergy. And it's so, it's really damaging, you know. So if we find one, I will be the first to let you know. <laughs> Heat transfer foil. Slap my bum, Mr. Gray. <laughs> that owl is beautiful. Maybe I should do it and we'll paint it, eh? Nisi is dirty. You guys didn't even tell me. Guess what we forgot to put on our skull? I'll let you look at it. What's missing? The cross? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Chris cross yeah okay so luckily I have this magic tool called Bondic and uh, it's pretty amazing so I'm going to grab that now this is very very sticky these Dollar Tree ones are super sticky but I'm not going to trust that you know to stay on there for life so I'm going to use Bondic and give it a really nice. You're a dirty bird, Nisi. So is you. Mm hmm Yeah. We're we're doing that. This is a UV glue. So obviously it's probably not gonna work in the middle, so I'm not putting it there. I'm just putting it around the edge where I can hit it with the light, okay? Because if the light can't hit it, it won't cure it. And it's a gel, so it doesn't run. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> True yeah. that, true that. Wait, yo, what? You just spit out. <laughs> yeah, she does that to us. <laughs> right.
I'm trying to use up some of my uh, scrap stuff for these little things. Because I have a ton of scrap foil. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to drop it. I'm nervous. <laughs> Holy cow. Hang on. I gotta pick it up so I can see what I'm doing. That wasn't stressful or nothing. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta add a little stuff here. It's gonna stay lifted up there. All right, and then Hit it with your light. It does have a little light on the tool, but I got this one too. And this cures in like 30 seconds. Actually, just a few seconds, but I like to give it a good, you know, cure. I hope that's <laughs> good. Man, I almost forgot the cross. That <laughs> I would have been so sad. Well, you would have put it on there. I would have, but I would have been sad because it wasn't on the tutorial or whatever you want to call this. Family time. <laughs> All right, look. Look, look, look. Woohoo! Fits perfect. See, there's a little ridge up under there. I filled yeah. it with glue and it's cured. So, but you can fill it fuller too because you can build it. Sorry about the focus. I have no idea what it's doing. I'm not even touching it. So, there's just too much bling bling. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know where to focus it's crazy it looks wet but it's not it's dry totally totally dry thanks guys for hanging out for the second half of the blinging school skull school no skull skull no school here <laughs> all right I will post some pictures of it under my uh, magic lights in the kitchen and um, you guys can really see it then and uh, we'll catch you I don't know probably during the week and um, on Friday again. All right. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.